Also want to again reiterate that COVID-19 vaccines will be free for everyone who wishes to be vaccinated. We are moving as fast as we can, but we also want to ensure the vaccine is safe for New Zealanders. All of these vaccines still must pass MedSafe approval for use here in New Zealand. As you all know, some countries are granting emergency use authorizations ahead of the usual clinical assessment and approval process. That's in response to the public health emergency that is gripping their nations. Unlike in New Zealand, they face widespread community transmission of COVID-19 and a rapidly mounting death toll. For example, the UK's emergency authorization to use the Pfizer vaccine only allows targeted access for specific at-risk groups, rather than authorising vaccines for their wider population at this stage. Canada also announced last week that it had issued, issued conditional authorisation for the Pfizer vaccine for use of those aged 16 years and older, again because of their public health emergency. The US Food and Drug Administration also issued emergency use authorisation in the past weeks, uh, and vaccinations started there this week. We are obviously in an entirely different situation here. MedSafe, however, is undertaking rolling applications for COVID-19 vaccines, which means they can submit data as it is completed and ready for assessment. This may enable faster approval by MedSafe, but with the same rigorous level of scrutiny that all medicines undergo in New Zealand. It's also important to remember that there is a huge global demand for COVID-19 vaccines. Manufacturers can only produce and uh, ship doses so fast. Nonetheless, we still expect to receive vaccines in good time, with a good portion of our doses expected to arrive in beginning in the first half of next year, but into the second half. Our first priority here will be to vaccinate border workers and essential staff in order to further reduce the risk of COVID passing on to the community. We expect vaccines to be delivered to our frontline workers in the second quarter of 2021. Keeping in mind, of course, we still await the data to demonstrate the effectiveness of the vaccinations uh, that are currently being developed in reducing transmission between people. Never before has the entire globe sought to vaccinate the entire population at the same time. Ours will be a sustained rollout over months, not weeks, but our pre-purchase agreements means New Zealand is well positioned to get on with it as soon as it is proven safe to do so. It will be New Zealand's largest immunisation rollout ever. Most countries are factoring the rollout to take all of 2021 and some of 2022 to complete due to its scale and complexity. So we are all in a similar position. Before I hand over to Minister Wood, a brief comment on timings and also uh, the amount of vaccine we have. Much is unknown. Delivery dates are not guaranteed. Some vaccines we have agreement with may not prove successful. We, for that reason, have created a portfolio to ensure we have backup provision. If these backups are not required, they will still not be wasted. It's why we're working with other countries uh, on ensuring uh, that vaccines are potentially able to be either on sold or, of course, donated into other regions or areas. On the rollout, it's not the date that we start that matters, it's the date that we finish.